we've got a release date for Google Stadia. I mean, I personally could not be more excited. That release date is November 19th. Before I give you any more information, I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. I'm gonna ask you to hit the thumbs up, subscribe and ring that bell because then you'll get notifications every time we post new stuff. And as far as posting new stuff, you can expect uh, the, the podcast that comes out every single Sunday. You know what? We'll get to that in a second. Let me give you the real information, the reason that you came here. Uh, Google says they know that we've been waiting. So beginning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. British Standard Time, that would be 12 p.m. Uh, U.S. Eastern. That's my time zone. Uh, and 6 p.m. Central European Time on November 19th, you're going to finally be able to play Google Stadia and I, for one, could not be more excited. That is, by the way, a Tuesday. I believe it is the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, so a lot of people are going to be off at that point, which means, oh man, the, the, I hope, I really hope that Google has got their all their ducks in a row uh, because there's going to be a lot of people hitting those servers really, really hard. I have a really good feeling about it. This shows a lot of confidence from Google. Uh, that they are willing to do this on a day when a lot of people are going to be off and getting ready for Thanksgiving. I think that uh, it's going to be impressive. I really do. Uh, they also said Stadia's Founders Editions. When are you going to get these things? Stadia's Founders Editions and Premier Editions. That's uh, the edition that you would get if you did not buy the Founders Edition before they ran out. So you don't get the blue one, you get the white one instead. They're going to start shipping in the same order that pre-orders were received. So that means that you might not get yours on the 19th. It depends on when you ordered it. If you waited for a while, then you might not get yours on the 19th. Only time will tell. Uh, what they said is that you're going to get an email. The email is going to tell you when your package should arrive. Uh, and then soon after, you will get a second email that gives you a code that will allow you to activate your Stadia account as well as Stadia, Stadia Pro, and get your Stadia name, which I know everybody's looking forward to. Uh, so we also have some UI images that I'm going to get to in a second, but for anybody who's never seen this show before, you might be wondering, who is this guy? I'm Bill, I'm the host of Stadia Cast, and my co-host Lloyd is not here right now, he's probably at work. This is a show all about Stadia. Every single Sunday, uh, 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern, Lloyd and I sit down and we have a, co uh, a conversation about the ins and outs of Google Stadia. It's a live conversation. We've got chat people here who tell us everything that they are thinking as well. And we kind of interact with chat and have a really fun conversation about Stadia. So if that sounds fun to you, make sure that you are here on Sundays at 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern so that we can talk about that. If you don't want to watch on YouTube, maybe you would prefer to listen. It's also a podcast. In fact, that's really what it started as. It, it started as just a podcast. And uh, Lloyd and I uh, record that as an audio podcast. And you can find that if you go to runjumpstomp.com slash shows, or you can easily just go to anchor.fm slash stadiacast. Uh, we have... Uh, we're on 28 episodes on this Sunday will be episode 28. We've had uh, people like Tom Meridon and Patrick Beja on. We've had executives from Google on the show to answer our questions about Stadia. And the, Google, Google listens to the show, so you know it's got to be pretty good. Uh, let's talk about the UI stuff that was unveiled today. A lot of people on Reddit are very good at making screen or taking screenshots while they are watching stuff. I was at work, so I didn't actually get to uh, watch this until after I got home from work, and then I was recording another show, So, but that's all beside the point. Let's take a look at the screenshots that were taken. First off, we've got some UI of what does Stadia look like. This is very, very similar to what a listener had sent in. We had a listener to of StadiaCast who was at Gamescom in Germany, and they had kind of gotten buddy buddy with the people who were there and they said uh do you mind if i hit this button so we can see what it looks like and they let them and then they just kind of drew a sketch and sent it to me uh in an email and this looks very similar to what they sent me so uh kudos to them and thank you to them for sharing i 
you know, I, I don't know that there's much to really say about this. It looks good. Um, I have no complaints. And uh, overall, I think it looks very simple and that's good. Let's take a look at what it looks like when you're looking at it on the phone because, hey, our phones are not this way. They're this way. So our phones, when you look at it, it's going to look like this and it's got a little button for the store and it's got a button for you to play. And if you look up here on the top, it looks like they have, uh, it's showing that your controller is connected, maybe. I'm not sure what that means. You've got your friends list there. Speaking of your friends list, you can also take a look at your friends list right here. This is your friends list. Now this has some pretty interesting information. So first off, this is you on the top, Stadia Founder, and it shows what game that you are playing right now. So you can pull out your phone and look and, and see what you're doing right now, although you know what you're doing. Uh, and then you have your friends. It's showing your eight friends that are online. They all have like a little logo for them, like an avatar. And then it also tells you that they are online or offline. And here's the part that I'm curious about it doesn't show that any of this uh, this uh, Stadia Founders friends, it doesn't show that any of them are actually online right now. It's not showing that any of them are playing. Uh, but by the way, it looks like we've got a little symbol next to Stadia Founder. That must be the little uh, extra mark that shows that you are a Stadia Founder. I don't really care about that, but I know that there's going to be people who are curious. And so there you go, there's some information. Uh, last piece of information that came out at today's Google Made by Google event, uh, which is their their yearly thing where they show off all of the stuff that they make, like the Pixel phones and the Pixel books and now Stadia stuff and the Google Home stuff. Uh, the other thing that people noticed when they were looking at this was uh, this little uh, uh, small print? Yeah, fine print. That's what I was looking for, the term fine print. We've got some fine print down at the bottom of this picture of the Google Stadia controller that says, at launch, wireless play with the Stadia controller is only available on TV using a Chromecast Ultra. Now, there might be people who see that and they're like, oh no, this is really bad. I'm not sure why Google is doing this, uh, but you can always connect your controller to a PC via wire because it says wireless play is only available on TV using Chromecast Ultra. Oh no, you know what I think this means? I've completely changed my mind. At first I thought that you would only be able to use your wireless controller if you're on a TV, but I think that that uh, the, the absence of commas here, uh, it says here at launch comma, Wireless play with the Stadia controller is only available on TV using Chromecast Ultra. That doesn't mean that you can't use your um, your controller with a PC. That means the only way to play on PC or on TV is with a Chromecast Ultra. Not that the only way to play with this controller is on TV. Do you guys get what I'm saying? I hope that you do. Um, so I'm guessing that what this means is I'm gonna be able to play on this controller anywhere, but if I wanna play on a TV, I have to have a Chromecast Ultra at launch. And that makes a lot of sense. The Chromecast Ultra is their, their high-end one, it's the one that ships with it. And the, the, the founders are all going to have a Chromecast Ultra anyway, so that makes a lot of sense. However, we have heard rumors that in the future, we're going to have TVs that ship with Stadia um, support built into the TV, so you don't even have to have a Chromecast Ultra in order for that to work. Uh, anyway, there's really not much else for me to talk about today. Thank you all for watching. Again, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you on Sunday when Lloyd and I tear all of this apart and have a really long-form discussion about everything Google Stadia. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.